Hi, first graders, we're on Knowledge 5, Lesson 7, The Aztec and the Palace of an Emperor. Our first vocabulary word is emperor. Say emperor. Emperor is the ruler of an empire. The next word is wealth. Say wealth. Wealth means valuable possessions. And the last word is retreat. Say retreat. Retreat means to move away from something or to leave. So today you are going to hear a made up story about a real emperor named Moctezuma who ruled the Aztec Empire a very long time ago. Moctezuma II, emperor of the Aztec people, commander of the fierce Aztec army, highest of high priests, was moving through his immense palace in the city of Tenochtitlan, the capital of the Aztec Empire. Before he walked, one of the four most important Aztec nobles who served the emperor. Dressed in brightly colored cotton clothing, the nobleman's head was enriched by magnificent tropical bird feathers that stuck out of a headdress made of gold. This fancily dressed nobleman led the way through the halls of the palace toward the throne room, passing one of the enormous dining halls and turning down a corridor running between two large libraries. Far behind in the gigantic palace lay hundreds of bedrooms, including the great emperors, where the bedsheets would be slept upon just once and then thrown away. Behind him, the nobleman heard the steady slapping of the emperor's golden sandals upon the floor and the swishing of leaves as nobles fanned the emperor's body to keep him cool as he walked. They entered the throne room. It was more than half full already, with men and women looking down silently, for they knew that the emperor was approaching, and no one was allowed to look at the emperor's face. Those who were wearing shoes had already slipped out of them, for they knew they must take them off in Emperor Moctezuma's presence. The feathered nobleman stopped as he approached the throne, standing aside and turning his eyes downward as Moctezuma walked forward and sat down upon his jeweled throne. Moctezuma was a man whose wealth could not even be measured. So he was so rich that it was impossible to figure out exactly how rich he was. In his palace were entire rooms filled with gold and silver and everything from fabulous hand-carved jewelry to masks. Now another of the emperor's noblemen spoke. Oh, speaker, he began. This was the emperor's most important title for it meant that it was he who was thought to speak to the gods in order to keep them on the side of the Aztec. Remember, like the Mayans, the Aztec believed in many gods that controlled many different things. Now, um, today, there are lords here from the eastern part of your empire. Lords are owners of land or other property. They come to pay their respect to you, but also to bring more details of the strangers who come from the east. The nobleman brought the lords forward. The emperor said, we have reports of strangers riding upon huge deer. What have you seen with your own eyes and what have you heard? Now the oldest of the visiting lords, forcing himself not to look upward upon Moctezuma's face, told the emperor, I too have seen these men, but now their leader has done something we do not understand. He has ordered his people to burn the wooden ships at sea they are now camped on the shore with their deer. Can you guess what the huge deer were that the strangers were riding? The Aztec had never seen horses before. Moctezuma was giving his full attention to the man's words. Then he turned to the snake woman who stood beside his throne. Oddly, the state snake woman, the second most important person in the government, was not a woman at all, but a man. The title of snake woman was given to a man in honor of one of the Aztec goddesses whose importance was second only to the gods of the sun and the rain. The snake woman helped the emperor run the nation. Does the burning of the wooden ships mean that they intended to never leave our lands? The emperor asked the snake woman. The snake woman replied, I do not know, O emperor, but it seems to show that the strangers feel safe enough here to cut off their own form of retreat. So retreat um, means to move away from something or to leave. The snake woman nodded to the nobleman who continued, there is other news. These strangers have made friends with the Todenachs, the people of Sempoela, and together with them, they are starting in the direction of us. 
At this, a worried murmur ran through all those in the throne room, for the Todinox, the people of Simpola, were enemies of the Aztec. The lords continued their report, followed by reports on other manners by the servants of Moctezuma. Afterward, the nobleman with his magnificent feathers once again led the emperor through the halls, this time to the main dining hall. There, Moctezuma and hundreds of his nobles sat down to a feast, eating off beautiful plates that were given away just after one use. Later, Moctezuma and his chief advisors met together, and the emperor said, Send gold and silver to the leaders of these strangers. Let the nobles who bring these gifts tell the strangers that they are on Aztec land, ruled by Emperor Moctezuma, who sends these small tokens of his power and wealth. They will know from these gifts the great wealth and power we have here, and perhaps they will turn and leave our empire. The end. You may now go ahead and click on the Google form to answer the questions about today's read aloud.